Kashekemwi, the last ruler of the Second Dynasty of Egypt, marked his reign with significant architectural and cultural achievements. His works were a testament to the evolving sophistication of early dynastic Egypt, setting precedents that would echo throughout the Pharaonich era. His reign was characterized by the reunification of Egypt, which had been fragmented by internal strife. This reunification was not merely a political or military achievement but also a cultural and spiritual consolidation. It paved the way for an era of stability that allowed for monumental constructions, which were both expressions of royal power and mediums of religious practice. Building in stone rather than the traditional mud brick signified a monumental shift in Egyptian architecture. This innovation was not only practical. Stone structures were more enduring, but also symbolic. A stone was associated with the eternal nature of the gods and the permanence of the pharaoh's legacy. El Cab, Hierarch and Polis, and Abydos were significant sites for these constructions, each with its own religious and strategic importance. El Cab held military prestige, Hierarch and Polis was a religious center, and Abydos was associated with the cult of Osiris, the god of the afterlife. Kashekemwi's unique tomb at Abydos, known as Tomb V, was a departure from the traditional Mastaba tombs. Its massive scale and complex architecture, including a burial chamber of large limestone blocks and an intricate façade, underscored the pharaoh's might and divine status. This tomb, with its grandeur and complexity, not only served as his final resting place but also as a shrine for his cult, ensuring his continued worship and memory in the afterlife. The advancements of Kashakemwi's reign were not limited to architecture. They extended to the arts, crafts, and the administration of the state. The use of cylindrical seals became more widespread, reflecting a more complex bureaucracy that required documentation and control of goods. Artistic representations became more standardized, indicating a centralized control over iconography and the propagation of royal propaganda. Kasha Kemwi's achievements were not merely for his own glorification. They laid the foundations for the Old Kingdom, an era that would see the construction of the Great Pyramids and the rise of classic Egyptian civilization. His consolidation of power and the centralization of the state were instrumental in establishing the divine kingship as an enduring institution, which would dominate Egyptian ideology for millennia. The greatness of Kasha Kemwi's era was not just in the visible stone and the grand tombs but also in the intangible legacy he left behind. A unified state capable of great feats, a bureaucracy that managed a nation, and a religious ideology that would define an entire civilization. His reign reminds us that the past is not just a tale of kings and stones, but a story of human ingenuity and the relentless pursuit of immortality, both in memory and in spirit. Innerstanding the past, particularly the feats of Kashekemwi, teaches us the importance of unity, the power of innovation, and the enduring nature of legacy. It encourages us to build with an eye on permanence, not just in material constructions but in the cultural and spiritual edifices we create within our societies. Remembering Kashekemwi, we are reminded to strive for greatness that benefits not just the individual but the collective, for it is through such endeavors that civilizations are built and remembered. Click like, subscribe, and share this channel.